guys, it's me, Cindy, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button, like, and comment. Comment down below what your opinion on this topic is right now, at the end of the video, in the middle, whenever, um, because I really like to share opinions, and as long as you have an opinion, you're free to share it. So, today I'm going to be sharing my opinion on Sophie Hagen's tweet, and basic, and I'm just going to go into it, but like basically what Sophie Hagen did was, I saw this on Twitter, and then you guys DM me on Instagram, asked me to do a video on this, so I was like, hey, like, I already saw this, I kind of know what's going on, and um, I don't know too much because I don't follow her, but a year ago this first came up, and then now it's back up in the news and like retweeting all over Twitter. And um, I want to give you guys my two cents and you guys said you wanted to hear it. Now we're going to talk about Sophie Hagen, a little bit of background because I feel like that's really important to kind of give you guys some knowledge on who she is, what she does, and why she kind of matters in social media, the industry, and just for things that are going on right now. Sophie Hagen is, I think that's how you pronounce her name, she is a comedian. She is very vocal on Twitter. She is the creator of Made of Human podcast and she's currently on tour right now and she's on a Europe tour, I think. Yeah, so she's from the UK. She's gonna be in Denmark and she's in London and like UK area. She's a beautiful girl. She's overweight. Um, I don't know her weight or anything like that, but she talks a lot about fat shaming and you know, she uses the word f a lot she uses the c word a lot and i'm not saying that like in the uk it's in the uk it's a very common word so it's not her like saying oh like i don't know like in the us versus in the uk the culture is different so she does use a lot of those words um we're gonna talk about what happened her backlash and the public's backlash and my opinion so if you guys are interested in hearing this we're gonna get down and dirty with this um now so to kick it off this started about a year ago and sophie posted a tweet that says in the same week both lush and cancer uk cancer research uk contributed to fat shaming in the uk thanks for making the world shittier you filthy so she posted the pictures that included like what Cancer Research UK had as ads and then what um, Lush posted on their, I think they were ads, but they were on Instagram. So the first one, which is the one that continues on into this past year, which I think is totally fine. I'm going to put that out there right now. I think that their ad is 100% fine. I think it's okay and I think it's definitely needed for people to know. This is based in the UK, so these are UK tweets. This is not in the US. And um, same with in, I think Lush, obviously it was on the internet, so like everyone saw it. But this is based in the UK, probably in the subway or something like that. And... Um, the first one says obesity, but it has three different lines within it that people have to fill in the blank to like, you know, actually know the word, but you obviously know it. And then it says underneath it in a box, it says, guess what is the biggest preventable cause of cancer after smoking? And so one thing I have to say right now is I think this is totally fine. I don't think it's saying anything about fat shaming. I don't think it's like saying fat people are ugly, which is what fat shaming is, we're going to look up the definition of fat shaming right now too, because I feel like it's really important for people to understand what fat shaming actually is. Fat shaming, the action or practice of humiliating someone judged to be fat or overweight by making mocking or critical comments about their size. So first thing I want to say right now is this video is not fat shaming and I'm someone who is overweight and I have a fitness channel and people, you know, make comments that are, you know, sometimes mocking me, making critical comments about my size, but that doesn't stop me from doing what I do and I love what I do and I'm not going to fat shame anyone else because I don't think it's right and I, and I, that's not my opinion. Like I think everyone is beautiful, all humans are beautiful and um, being fat doesn't make you ugly. I don't think that you're mocking or humiliating someone by saying that it is a cause of cancer after smoking. With this specific thing, we're gonna get back into this with the newest tweet that she did. So I think that this one's totally fine. I don't think that that's humiliating. Then the next one, which is what Lush posted. So Lush posted two different photos there. I think there were a few more, but she screenshotted two of them. First one said two thirds of adults are either overweight or obese. That's just a fact, you guys. Um, and she took offense to this fact. Then the second one is 70% of deaths and morbidity are largely lifestyle related and preventable. That's a fact as well, that's a statistic. 70% of deaths and likelihood of being healthy and stuff like that, that's what that word means, are largely lifestyle related and preventable. So, right there, 
That's a fact. It's not like they're saying, they're literally not even talking about like fatness in this statistic. They're not talking about overweight people. And she took a lot of offense to that. So that was that one. And she tweeted February 28th and said, so Lush actually deleted their fat shaming post, but CRUK just added more money to theirs. I stand by my statement now, almost a year later. If you scroll down a little more on her Twitter, she posted it again and it says obesity is the cause of cancer which is on the thing i'll have on the screen so you guys can actually see what i'm specifically talking about and then the tweet says underneath this photo right is anyone currently working on getting this piece of cancer research uk advert removed from everywhere is there something i can sign how the fucking f is this okay the first thing i want to point out is the fact that i'm not saying that people who cuss because i cuss but like if you're trying to get your point across and you're trying to sound educated, take the language out of your tweet. I feel like everyone's allowed to have an opinion, but she comes off very like uneducated when she posts that. And I wanna talk a little bit more about this. So this is the tweet that's kind of like trending right now, but not really trending, but like I saw because someone else re quoted it and then like that went viral. And I cannot figure out where that one is, so I'm not even gonna try and find it. If I do, I will post it right here. But anyways, I just, my thought process on this whole situation is the fact that Sophie Hagen is a comedian. She is not a health professional. She is overweight herself. She is, I'm guessing, very insecure about her weight because someone that is working so hard to say that an ad that is trying to give public information and knowledge and not fat shaming people, there's not a photo of someone fat on there that's saying that they're the cause of cancer or anything like that. Like they're not doing that for this ad and she's taking it to the level of like personal personal like attacking and it's not it's definitely not and i think that this ad is like totally fine i think that it's great i think that it's something that people really do need to see because obesity is going to increase your likelihood of having cancer and that's a statistic that's out there this is from the cancer research uk and like one thing i do want to say is like yes they are funded by companies to research for this so i get that it is a little bit biased because they are trying to find like causes of cancer and stuff but like at the same time it's it's research that they've had done and they've had proven and it's statistics and it's not like they're saying or attacking specific people or you know a type of person they're just saying obesity is going to increase you getting cancer and then it kind of blew up i saw it on my twitter and then you guys asked me to talk about it and i was like hey i'm gonna talk about it but the biggest thing about it is the fact that it's not fat shaming i don't think it's fat shaming and i don't think anyone else is i've talked to a few other people about it and they all who are obese these are people that are obese that i was talking to i was like do you think this is fat shaming and they said no i mean i could see if they said fat people cause cancer or being fat gives you cancer like i could see that maybe being something that would like be bad you know like it it might make you feel bad because like then it associates fat people with having cancer and i but i don't think that this is what they're saying because you can be obese and you can be six foot and you can not look obese but you are obese versus you can be you know five foot and look more obese than someone that is obese but they're taller if that makes sense because for me i'm five nine and i'm gonna show you guys my body right now i'm five nine you guys can tell i got a tummy right here but am i like am i someone that you know gets upset about these things and i am considered um still at least overweight um i don't i'm not in the severely obese category anymore i changed my life i transformed my life and i used to be obese when i was obese and like severely obese because i was 233 pounds I still would not have gotten upset about this and that's what really bothers me I feel like she shouldn't be getting upset about it like I understand everyone is allowed to have their opinion do you guys think this is fat shaming by definition I do not think this is fat shaming and I also think that it comes from her personal insecurities and I just think that she's trying to get attention for what she's posting because this has 1.3 K hearts 492 retweets and then over 4,000.9 replies. But one thing I wanna capitalize that I haven't even capitalized in this whole thing is it's not healthy to be obese. And I think that's something that anyone who is in the health industry, who, you know, looks at health stuff at all, someone who has a little bit of an education would know, it isn't healthy to be obese. If you're obese, you're putting pressure on your joints, your body, your cardiovascular system is not going to be as 
up to par you're not gonna have better circulation like there's so many things that come with being obese and I know this firsthand because when I was severely obese when I was 233 pounds let me tell you right now walking up the stairs I was winded I did not do cardio and you need to have good cardiovascular health to be considered healthy bodybuilders are not always healthy people say that they look healthy but they may not be so it's not fat shaming it's the fact that if you are obese you have other health problems that come with it your likelihood of getting cancer increases when you are obese because you have other health problems I think that's one of the biggest things that people do not get into their heads and if you're watching this and you're like Sydney why does this matter to you it matters to me because number one I don't want to see people just think that it's okay to say that this is fact shaming when it's not because at the end of the day these are facts and there's more facts that can be backed up with it and the cancer research of uk is trying to prevent cancer this is an ad trying to help people think if there was an ad out there and i'm just going to say think if you're older if you don't have kids yet think about it this way think if your mom is obese and then she gets cancer and they did not have that ad out there and she you know possibly could have changed her lifestyle to make it so she was healthier so her likelihood of getting cancer was different the moral of the story is this ad is out there because people need to see it if there's not information out there like this people aren't going to see it people are not going to be you know researching how do i prevent cancer you know what i mean like people don't do that for the most part people don't think they're ever going to get cancer and then once you get it you have it and you have to deal with it so the fact that there's an ad out there that's like telling people hey this is something that you can change you can change your lifestyle in order to help prevent cancer just like they have ads about smoking this ad wasn't created to tell people you're fat you're gonna get cancer ads were created because people are impressionable information needs to be spread in different ways if there's gonna be a billboard out there that's gonna say obesity is a cause of cancer then you know what it's gonna be information that's gonna give to people it's gonna help people realize if they change their lifestyle just small little tweaks then they could probably help prevent their likelihood of getting cancer if a child is reading this ad it could change their life they could see that and that could be the one thing that you know clicks in their mind and they're like I really need to take care of myself because if you treat your body right from the beginning and I'm not saying everyone that's obese doesn't treat their body right you can be happy and be obese but at the end of the day you really can't be healthy and be obese so at the end of the day like you have to realize that cancer comes with being unhealthy and if you're obese you're usually unhealthy and that's I think the biggest takeaway from this so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know your thoughts and you know if you guys want to tweet this to Sophie feel free but um let me know your comments down below I really want to know what are your thoughts do you think that this tweet is fat shaming do you guys think that this is something that's necessary to have in the industry or like around for public health um do you guys think that there should be more things out there like this less I really want to hear your guys' opinion so with that being said I love you guys so much if you guys haven't liked commented or subscribed don't forget to do that and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for tuning in to another video of March Madness I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye babe so much to figure out